What's up my friends? Welcome back to Love Always Adventure Often. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of our adventure setup. As most of you know, we started off our channel building out a schoolie, and now this is what we adventure in. We're not full-time travel any longer. This is currently our setup, and it's super simple. It's our Nissan van with our ultralight trailer you can see back there, and our rooftop, our Tapui rooftop tent that we call the penthouse. And uh, I'll give you a little tour. Here we go. Hey there friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, Kenya, and Milo. We live for love and adventure. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. We're stoked for you to join our journey and hope you enjoy watching our videos as much as we love making them. So hit subscribe and enjoy the adventure. This is the inside of our Nissan NV. It's just your standard 15 passenger van. Is it 15? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 passenger van, <laughs> not 15. I think, our, I think our Ford Transit was a 15 passenger. This is a 12 passenger van, uh, super duper roomy and comfy. The captain chairs in this are awesome. So much more comfy than the bus chair. Um, but uh, yeah, we can do long hours in this thing. Absolutely no problem. We did uh, bend to Salt Lake, which is usually about 11 and a half hours straight, only stopping for gas, and I was super comfy the whole time. So here's the cab, simple cab. And I'll show you how we have the back set up. It's, uh, it's really cool because the seats can do lots of different formations or, or, or configurations better <laughs> formations uh, so you can configure the back seats in in a lot of different ways there's singles and there's doubles so I'll show you that how we have it set up currently um, currently how we have it set up each kid we have six seat belts right now and we have three kids so we wanted to make sure friends uh, kids could bring friends along on the adventure so uh, I'll, I'll show you what we have. So we have tons and tons of room, but also uh, room for friends to join us as well. So nothing out of the norm here. Just currently have two benches of threes set up. So here's your first bench. It's a little messy in here. Here's your first bench of three, and then your second bench of three. And then back there, we have tons and tons of room to pack things. So Milo's bike goes back there, the cooler, uh, the food bin, Sleeping bags, tons of room, I'll show you that. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. So I can open the door. <laughs> so this is the back section here, uh, past the past the back seats, tons and tons of room. If you can see, Hello. it's kind of hard to get an angle on it, but you can see this cooler's a pretty good size, and there's just tons and tons of room. There's actual power there. Should we show them the tent, Milo? Yeah. All right, let's show them the tent. So our Tapui tent is a three-man tent without the annex. You have this telescoping ladder, which is just rad. It just telescopes out. And uh, these rungs don't feel very good on bare feet, but they do. they'll do. The kids love sleeping up in here. Oh, there he is. Howdy doody. Tell us about the tent, Mai. It has two windows and, I mean, three windows. This one's really big. All right, so a couple things that I love about this tent. So it's super open air, as you can see. We have it all open right now. There's two big doors and two big windows. Every window and door has a screen, but also a, uh, a door, obviously and it's this like thick canvas stuff. It's really, really good material. Uh, also has these rain fly porches that kind of protect the ladder and the doors and that kind of stuff. It, the watershed off this thing is phenomenal. It's really, really cool. And it's so quick to open and close. Uh, it's literally just a zipper around the edge, undo a couple straps, and then we open it up, right? Um, the frame is super duper tough. It's like this aluminum frame that just folds out from that area right there. You can see this pivot point and, uh, and then these bars are the structure of the tent. It's really a fantastic tent. We've loved it. We had one before the bus adventure 
and uh, and we quickly got one after because we wanted to make sure that we had it. Another thing I love about this tent is these tension poles. So basically there's a hole drilled into the frame of the tent that it goes into and the, the tension on the pole of it being bowed holds the, the rain fly out. So it's really tight, really tight everywhere. Um, the rain, like I said, the rain shed off of this thing is... Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Now possibly the best thing about this tent is that you always have the best view of the campsite. You just hang out up here while everybody cooks and there's busy bees below. Hello! Hey guys! What you cooking? Grilled cheese sandwiches with soup. One door on each side of the trailer. Kenya's handiwork with the uh, window paints that have been on there for since last spring. Um, double locks, which is cool. Deadbolt and handle lock for each door. And then also a separate screen. So you can have the, you can have just a screen door while you're sleeping in the summer, which is really, really nice. Let that air flow. A couple of shelves just to keep, you know, different, they're not really load. They'll have, they, they won't take a big load, but um, they're at least there for blankets and headlamps and you know the drill. Toilet paper. Toilet paper won't weigh it down. Uh, there's a few outlets, um, which is really, really nice. A breaker box and oh, out here, each one of the doorways has a nice outdoor light with both white and orange. Uh, which is really, really nice when you're getting up in the middle of the night, night to go pee, you can turn the porch light on. So two windows on each side that you can prop open for more airflow, and then a ceiling fan um, for obviously for more airflow. We can't open it up and turn the fan on because we have the tent mounted to the top of the of the trailer, and so the so the shell won't open for the fan. So this vent thing is also the light for the cabin, the main light for the cabin. So you just pop that on. And uh, it's very decently bright for this little area. <laughs> LED lights, it's pretty cool. So when we bought this trailer, it was completely open, like nothing built in other than these front shelves that I've already shown you. So I wanted, we needed it to be more functional. We were, before we were laying, just putting our mattresses on the floor of the trailer and it's an aluminum and then you have the open air underneath. It was cold and it was just wasn't like, then we had all of this room up here to, with nothing to do and it, it just wasn't practical. It didn't work very well. So uh, I came up with a plan to create some storage, some seating, but also a, a bed platform um, and our bikes also sit on it as we travel. And so I'm gonna show that to you now. So one of the features of the bed platform build is that I'm, we're looking at the side of the trailer so you have outside access to the storage. We have these boxes um, that we keep our kitchen stuff in and then also our food and they fit perfectly in these little spaces so we can access them from the outside of the trailer. That's a big deal when this trailer is packed full of stuff uh, for traveling. So like if we pull up to the gas station or whatever uh, then we can access those boxes and it goes back pretty far and we're just on an overnighter maybe two nights and so we don't have a lot of stuff but those boxes fit perfectly in here and then we have all of our heater stuff buddy, buddy burners propane tanks all of that kind of stuff so there is a full spare for the trailer which is a big deal um, this this diamond plate box here is where our battery is um, this thing is just just packed full of stuff for how little it is and then the storage is mirrored on this side so we have our uh, wood storage stored and this is where I store the stabilization jacks and then again our food box fits perfectly in there so if we're on the road and the trailer's full of bikes and water gots and everything we can stop at the grocery store 
and put our groceries inside this box just from outside access. And if you can't tell, I'm probably a little too proud of that. All right, so here's the trailer from the back side. And we always just set up our kitchen kitchen there on this on the side. We're gonna get a canopy that can fold out or roll out uh, over our kitchen, so that when it rains, we don't have to pack up all our kitchen. Anyway, let's go into the back side of the trailer. First thing is a nice open space here for like bigger stuff to pack while we're traveling. I didn't want the bench and bed platform to come all the way to the back. We have couple of charging stations which is awesome an outlet and of course these windows can pop open the other thing that we have so so here's how I built this basically this is built as two boxes on each side one there and one over there and then it has this middle piece that I can take out so that if we were caught in like something terrible, some sort of terrible rainstorm or whatever, and we couldn't get out, we all needed to be in here for some reason for a little bit of the day, uh, I can take this middle piece of wood out and then it's two benches. So we can sit in here comfortably, put some blankets down underneath our butts and play cards or whatever. This is also spaced perfectly for our storage bins that hold our bike gear and our kayak gear and our rock climbing gear so we use these totes from Home Depot that's all of our biking stuff we bought our bikes this time and uh, it's literally the tightest most perfect fit and we can fit three down in there so Milo has to crawl in there to get the third one once we've pulled the other two out because we can't get in there so then the rest of this is just our bed and uh, super cozy, comfy little bed. We use our canvas cutter mattresses. I'll do a video about these later. Uh, but these canvas cutter tent mattresses are awesome. And we just sleep on those. And so they're dual, dual purpose as well because those are made to be tents of themselves. So a couple things I'll mention about toys. So we have uh, a lot of kayaks, we have a lot of paddle boards. So the kayaks and the paddle boards get fastened to the top of the van. The bikes, we have to take the front wheels off and then they come in the trailer with all of this bedding rolls up really, really easy and quick. And then the bikes come in here and you know water storage. Sometimes we have our cooler back here, but we have so much room in here, in the van, on top of the van, and it's it's awesome. So we can go with our kayaks and paddle boards and bikes and just have a fantastic time. All right, stand by me. You ready? Are we gonna be able to do this? Yeah. You, you got it figured out? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So this has been our Adventure Mobile tour. We hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, remember, love always. Adventure often. Oh, you are slow. Let's do it again. Remember, love always. Adventure after. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, 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 get out.